Cover Killer Nation. Make your eyes nice and bloodshot. Set fire to your drug of choice. For it's a great day for metal. And it's also a great day for some stoner slash sludge metal. One of my new favorite genres of our favorite genre of music. One of the favorite subgenres, should I say. It's uh, something that really didn't interest me too, too much many years ago, but just something about it has a very spellbinding, very mystifying craft to it. The Vermis Mysterious by High on Fire, 2012 release. This is a band that continues to grow in acclaim with each passing album. And it's fair to say that it's because each and every passing album has seems to have brought a little bit more to the table than the predecessor. And this is an album that's no different. As they've kind of evolved in their uh, in their bandhood, in their in their history, these are individuals that seem to be crafting albums that not only have sort of a concept to them, but also have concepts that are extremely unique, mainly based on Lovecraftian and other horror-themed uh, ideas mixed with some sci-fi, mixed with time travel, mixed with biblical references, including Adam and Eve. So is it fitting that I'm doing this review here on what many would proclaim in the Roman Catholic or just the Catholic faith period, the Christian faith, to be Holy Saturday, the day before Christ supposedly rose from the dead, like a phoenix from the ashes? I think it is kind of fitting. I think it is truly fitting. The whole phoenix from the ashes metaphor could also be seen as the ashes from perhaps some of your favorite, favorite hazy weed. This is an album that does maintain a bit of variety. It has the sludgy quickness that perhaps some could attribute to a band such as Motorhead, but I'll tell you this, between you and me, between Cover Killer Nation, between Cover Killer and his nation, should I say, I'd say the place where this band, not to mention this album specifically, really tends to shine forth and show its beacon of light to the world is whenever they slow things down. Whenever they sludge into doom-like territory, whenever they really exhibit some droning aspects, where they kind of take heed from that whole age-old philosophy that if it isn't broke, don't fix it. One could even say that if a riff is killer, if a riff is powerful, then why go to something else? This is something that they show on this album a couple of different times, a couple of different tracks. And let me tell you, whenever this is the occurrence, it is amazing. These guys take the idea of sludginess, of doominess, of droniness, and what they do is they also throw in improvisational solos. They just have crushing, crushing vocals to go along with it. Just the whole entire myriad of, uh, of atmosphere that really comes furying out of your speakers whenever you hear these tracks is just mythologically brilliant. It's the type of thing that you could only wish to replicate in your in your home basement with a old guitar and perhaps a Jim Marshall amp. This is something that is mystifying to the point where you wonder if perhaps what you're listening to is the true recording that was spawned forth by these guys or if the drug of choice that you have opted to ingest into your system is not playing, playing some sort of mind-bending trick on you. Whenever this album flows as a whole, it is encapsulated beautifully by the phrase epic. There's an epic nature to this record. It's something that is good for almost any occasion. And I will prove that to you right now. It's perfect for the occasion where you're sitting at home not doing much with perhaps some friends or just by yourself. Just taking in this album on a pair of headphones or perhaps through a stereo system and just kind of doing your best impression of a vegetable. And you just start to get into this whole frame of mind, this whole atmosphere, this whole world, so to speak, that isn't your own. And these guys have a real knack for putting you in these positions. But at the same time, if you do this while you're at work, perhaps, like I work at a music store, if you open the day, if you open the gate, and you throw this album on for the first hour or so that you were kind of just working, where you're just waiting for people, it's almost as though a haze builds within the room surrounding you, and it's not even a haze that is caused by smoke, instead it's one that's created by this by this musical atmosphere that's being uh, kind of exuded through your stereo speakers to the general public. This is an album that whenever people hear it, they want it, and it's because it's just flawlessly executed. It's done with a 
uh, enough variety to really keep you enthused, but yet at the same time they maintain themselves with within the style in which they are so comfortable in that they're not trying to overexert themselves. They're not trying to do too much to the point where perhaps they are going to flaw the product by examining and exploring realms that they need not explore. This is a band that not only is very comfortable in their own skin, but also is able to take enough creative leaps and bounds without going too far or pushing the envelope to really just keep this absolutely and positively engaging and interesting. This is an album that comes forth you know, uh, there, there's one or two of them per year that really just engage you to the point where repetition is a must. It's not something that is just perhaps something that you decide to do because something about it seemed kind of cool or, you know, maybe a, a specific song really struck you. This is an album that you listen to on repeat, kind of like Electric Gage by Overkill, where just the whole entire embodiment just kind of tends to make you think. You get into a different frame of mind, a different fa uh, fragment of being whenever you listen to this record, almost an intellectual side, or one that is willing to explore all possibilities. You gain, you gain knowledge that you just don't know why you have, and I'm not sure why this really seems to come out, but it does. You start to think about things from an entirely different perspective. Even if it's a perspective that you're not necessarily warm to, and strangely enough, that perspective seems to make a lot of real sense. Now, after the music ends, after the haze kind of dissipates from the room surrounding you, you kind of return back to the old self that you once were. And you start to wonder, why was it that I transformed into perhaps a different person whenever I listen to this music? Does it have that great of a power? This is the influence that it pertains, the concept in which it's trying to enlighten me with. Is it really just that you know, intellectually engaging? Well, the answer could be a very resounding yes. The combination of the of the concept that is provided by the music, but then also surrounded by the tones that each instrument are able to emanate, uh, it just really creates this atmosphere and does so with precision. And it's almost like cutting an exact slice out of your brain and causing you to think specifically from that area while at the same time also gaining a worldly understanding. I know that I'm going a little bit psychological, a little bit intellectual, whenever I should be discussing the music itself. However, that is this music. This music is insanely, insanely psychological and intellectually powerful. And it's just a very, very awesome album. This is one that I highly recommend to you guys. And for the second time this year, I'm dispensing this number. 9 out of 10. I love this record. It's one that I constantly spin whenever I have the opportunity, whether it be at work and at home. This is one that's going to be in my... CD player for a long time, you know, it's going to be heavy in my rotation. And it's fair to say that it's been bands like High on Fire, it's been bands like Baroness, it's been, you know, past bands such as Sleep, you know, it's been other bands such as Earth that examine more of the droney element of this genre of music that have really uh, spawned a real, you know, stoner slash sludge metal lover out of me. And for that, I am thankful. Are you guys thankful for this album? Or do you guys think that everything that I just said and this album itself is just a whole bunch of hogwash? Let me know.